one of the things that I miss the most, actually, is being able to smell other people, which I think sometimes sounds kind of strange. Smells originate from chemicals. Taste and smell, both. If you were to lose a sense, which sense would you be willing to lose? Would it be sight? Would it be hearing? Would it be smell? Would it be taste? Would it be your sense of touch? So what we're going to do is we're, we're doing a little experiment, a live experiment with everybody. So uh, the folks from uh, the Monell Center are passing out some nose pipes right now. When I was in college, I fell in love with cooking. Just wholeheartedly fell in love with cooking. I knew without a doubt that what I wanted to do was cook. I wanted to be a chef. So two weeks after I graduated, I walked into the kitchen of one of the best restaurants in Boston and asked the chef for a job. He just looked at me like I was insane and asked, do you know what you're getting into? I said, yeah, sure. He's like, okay, well you can start tomorrow as my dishwasher. I started dishwashing for 11 hour shifts every night, covered in sweat, covered in butter, covered in chicken fat, and I loved it. But one morning in August, this was in 2005, I went for a job before work and I was hit by a car. What happens is that those smells on the outside are inhaled when we take a breath. Most of what we inhale actually goes into the lungs. However, a very small portion of it does reach this region in the nose, which is way up high and far back, and no, you can't reach it with your finger. Uh, that's where the actual smell cells are located. I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember the next two weeks. I don't remember being in the hospital. I certainly don't remember shattering the back of my skull on the windshield, which is what happened. I do remember is two weeks later, I was recovering at my father's house, and my stepmother, Cindy, decided to bake an apple crisp because that was one of my favorite desserts. Uh, it smelled like fall, and this was autumn at this point. Cinnamon and butter and oatmeal and sugar and you know, just reminded me of my childhood growing up in New England. But when she took this apple crisp out of the oven, everyone in the room was ruling on over the scents. And I thought that maybe someone was like in my way and blocking me from this aroma. It's like I couldn't smell it. But even when she took it underneath my nose and I breathed in, and all I could feel was the thick heat of the steam, and there was no scent attached, I knew that something was really wrong. So I lost my sense of smell as a result of this head injury, and I think you'll probably hear more about how people lose their sense of smell. I noticed that I couldn't smell, and that was really the only symptom of anything that I had. And I actually asked a doctor to send me to a specialist, and she said no. So I had to switch doctors in order to get to a specialist, who then very quickly diagnosed it as a sinus infection. And um, by that time, it was in all of my sinuses. And the first thing I noticed was I couldn't taste flavor. There was no nuance. There was no herb. There was no spice. There was no flavor. Nothing that makes you taste like what it was, like it's, it's good. That was completely gone. I'm also very careful about um, how old food is, so I, I, I err on the side of caution um, with like leftovers and things like that. Can you smell when food is bad? Or? No, not at all. It's all sight. So um, I try to keep track of like mentally how old things are, um, just so that I can, <laughs> you know, not get sick. Has anybody here lost their sense of smell? How many have recovered it? Okay, so at least one lucky person. Okay, it is a, it is very difficult. I'm very, very self-conscious of my own odor, so I'm like, <laughs> I have very understanding friends who help me out if I'm nervous about like going out, or um, I also only use products that I had used. I try to only use products that I had used before. I lost my sense of smell if it's scented, because I can remember if I liked the way it smelled on me. And throughout all of this. I felt really alone. Like, why did the loss of smell, which is something I didn't even know was possible before it happened to me, affect me so deeply and so much? 